you can now support this channel on Patreon. Warning, this video is for comedy purposes only and as such should not be taken too seriously. Live Massively Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game. Sushi DMMORPG. You know, I'm I'm not sure, but I get the distinct feeling as though I've seen something like this, I don't know, maybe several times before. CGI. <laughs> <laughs> so what, he beat all of them without even moving? Seems a little unfair. Talking to him after he's already clearly logged off of the game. It's called having a job and or a family. CGI! Well, some people had their priorities straight. Oh my god, it's a stuck in a game anime. Yep, you guessed it. Wait, you only just noticed? She's been talking to you for like 60 seconds now. No. <clears throat> I bet you wish you'd chosen a human character now with all of our human qualities? If you're that quick to change your mind on the whole damn idea, then don't go all crazy about the sentiment in the first bloody place. It's a trap! Well, it has only been like an hour, dude. I mean, right now I've been up like 14 hours and I'm not tired at all, but that doesn't mean I'm never not going to sleep. I am hungry, though. Well, that was some pretty bad CGI. I'm not really sure why they didn't go hand drawn on that one. <laughs> Listen, more old man, he literally just said what his name was to the soldiers. この1ドブリザレクションがあれば、村の死者を復活させることはできる。死者を蘇らせることのできるマジックキャスター。どちらが厄介ごとに巻き込まれるかは想像に固くない。Well, that's a bit of a dick move. Could have brought them all back, and his only reason not to do so was that it might drag him into trouble. What trouble when you're that bloody powerful? What could affect you? この近隣を荒らし回っている帝国の騎士たちを討伐するために。I think it's fair to say they've been doing more to wreak havoc by simply visiting all of the villagers. I think it's probably more accurate to say they've been wreaking havoc in this area by destroying all of the villagers. Well, 
My god, one thing I can very comfortably say about this anime is that it is giving absolutely sweet f all prior information to these damn events. I have no clue who these people are and why they're doing what they're doing and who they are relative to the story. I'm absolutely lost and I think personally that's worthy of three sins from me because in all honesty it's a rarity nowadays that an anime manages to confuse the hell out of me by explaining nothing when they really should. <laughs> You, uh, you gonna ask what it is, or...? <laughs> Annoyingly, since this is fully CGI, it's incredibly obvious that all of these people look exactly the same as each other. <laughs> Even more so when you're doing nothing but chatting with yourself. Clearly there is though, isn't there? Ring glinting sound effects helps us the viewer know that the ring is glinting. Okay, I think it's safe to say that haircut is f***ing stupid because you can't even see what you're doing. At least give the poor lad a permanent side parting or some shit. Well, according to a little bit of recent exposition, you're the best in the entire city, so you tell me. That's what he said. Sorry, I had to do it. She calls and says, are you here, when he's already clearly coming into view. <laughs> Dear animators, you made her mouth an incredibly odd size by making it so damn wide. Like, no one else has one like that so far, so it's just weird. I get she's a baddie and all, but the oversized gob is odd. <laughs> For a group of people who've been shown consistently obeying every single instruction and idolizing our MC here up until this point, it's now feeling a little odd that this lady is failing to over and over again follow his simple orders. The only reason it's getting sinned is because it's so vastly different from how they all acted for the first five episodes. <laughs> Seems largely pointless in him having a bed then, doesn't it? Or if you have twins, then you're really f***ed. Pun intended. Character with his eyes completely shut, cliché. Even though pretty much all of these big dudes were cut in half during the battle, all of them here are whole. Jesus, calm down, he was only being nice. He said, I'm sure you'll find comrades like that again someday. That's some hopeful shit. And his response is, you're going to have to make this right. あの強さですからね。しかも鎧や剣を見た感じ、裕福そうだし。Swords. <coughs> <私はね、人を殺すのが大好きで、恋していて愛しているの。笑> well, ladies and gentlemen, I know a good scene when I see it, and I just saw this, and I knew it was a good scene with good stuff in it. Great stuff. Good job. <coughs> Nope, just really ugly and green humans. Yeah, it's been a few days. It's just your fucking parents. I'm amazed you moped about at all. Level one.
So basically, this dude is like Kirito, aka Jesus Kuhn the first, but if he had a child with the dude from In Another World with a smartphone, yeah, it's weird because they're two dudes, but I can't think off the top of my head of a really powerful female at the moment. I don't get why poor old Kirito gets such a hard time when this dude is OP as fuck. But whatever. I must say I'm actually starting to enjoy this anime now, and personally, from my own standpoint, I actually enjoy the occasional OP-type character in an anime. Obviously, nowhere near as much as someone like Midoriya and his rise to the top in Boku no Hero Academia, but from time to time, it's certainly cool. Momongo I stayed. I'm Thank you to the following patrons Nathan Burr, Gabby Z, Vupu, Leon Lutger, Joaquin Jimenez Villaluenga, Villavuerta, Manuel Meza, Josiah May, Helgi Gunlaugsen, Loritz, Gig Hody, Val Sobel, Joel Rosenfeld, BZX001, David Pickfans, Chris Harris, Frankie, Kijin Ridderich, Daniel Musgrave, Veronica Hamilton, Joshua Viker, Xenon, Colin Vanderput, Zachary Kling, Hunter Layfield, Avery Azel, Gajivi Trash, Matthew Farmer, Richard Gray, Kyle Farmer, Theodore Quackens, Kaj Vorzelman, Robin Tinner, Jordan Samuels, Eternal Warlord, Scott Harris, Nicolaj Anderson, and to all of the other patrons supporting me. Thank you. Reach the wizard. Reach the wizard.